Hi everybody, Lori Marie, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Get that lamp out of the way. Uh, a gorgeous sunny day and I have been playing on the table and experimenting with some new things and you will get a kick out of them I think. So we've been doing some fabric projects the fabric background in the altered book and the go big or go home rose which was out of fabric and so there's a lot of leftovers uh, strings and shredded bits and pieces and things like that of the fabric so it's like oh my gosh we can't just throw those away let's do something fun with those so this is a hot mess that's the name of it <laughs> not that it isn't a hot mess because it is. But this is all the strings that were left over. This is, and I don't know which side will be showing, it'll be framed as well. This is a frayed heart, A-F-R-A-Y-E-D, like afraid. <laughs> Get it? Afraid heart. Anyway, and then I made a boho bead, which this I will hang from my book. So, uh, you guys will make a much better bead than me if you've worked with wire. I am not a wire worker, and so I just threw this together this morning uh, just to show you what we can do with the bits and bits and pieces of scraps from, from our fabric projects. I love them. They're very organic looking, and I do love them. So, those will be a surprise on how to make those. All right, if you are interested in uh, experimenting with these things with me, then we'll see you on the table. Before we jump on the table today and play, I just want to say that I got this in the mail yesterday. I did not even peek at it because I didn't want to ruin the surprise. This is from Rosanna. You remember uh, my doll? I have her name written down here so I don't forget it. Australis. Australis. I name her Aries because I can't remember Australis without writing it down. But anyway, we called her Australis. So Rosanna sent me this. Came yesterday. This is her mailable art. Thank you, Rosanna. Oh my goodness. Isn't that fun? She's got, I'm covering up the addresses. That is so fun. Oh, look at this side. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look, she's got a little ribbon on the bottom. I was able to open it without too much destruction. The double-edged tape, I can actually take that off pretty well. We don't want that on there. Bells of the Sea. Gorgeous music paper in there. <laughs> with our C. Mm. Just beautiful. And a bag of goodies. Thank you, my darling friend. Yes, we were sisters in a past life. I'm going to... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Woohoo! Fun stuff. Oh, all right. I'll go... <laughs> Look at that. That's so cute. All right. I'm going to go through this privately. I've taken you along this far. So... Let's get back to it. All right, let's go over the supplies that we're going to use for this fun and easy project. It, re it really turns out great. You're going to need some Mod Podge. I have some in my white glue container. These are strings that are left over from uh, the fabric projects that we've been doing, the fabric background, and the uh, Go Big or Go Home rows project. This is a piece of watercolor paper. I'll make this whatever size you want. You can see that this is the perfect square. Not. Welcome to my world. I've got a little thing of uh, vintage photo distress ink. A fun piece of ephemera. And I have an old book in case I want to add some um, words to the heart after I get it complete. We shall see on that. So first what we're going to do is take the watercolor paper. I want the heavily textured side to play on. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put a couple of pieces of ephemera 
on this. Oh, this is a nice brittle page. And I'll do something like this. I'll grab my handy dandy brush. I'll grab my other Mod Podge to put the ephemera down. My jar is almost empty. But no fear, I have more. I actually buy it by the gallon. And you've asked, uh, glossy or matte? I use matte. Uh, I don't care so much for the glossy. Kind of reflects too much. It's too shiny for my eye. All right, I'm going to set that aside. Let that dry. Clean up my handy dandy Teflon sheet. Who loves it? I do. All right, we're going to bring our strings back in. And I don't want to use all of these because there's another project that I would like to play with today with some of these strings. So I'm going to pull some of these strings out. Good luck to me on that. And I'm just going to spread these out a little bit. Don't mix them up too much or just like paint, it'll get kind of muddy. So you really want to keep the colors kind of separate. Oh, so fun! Oh my goodness. All right, and so what you're going to do is you're just going to start forming it into a heart. I know. Pretty fun. And there was a piece of lace or something on this side. I want to get that out of there. Look at that. Put that there. Yep. All right, let's bring this in again. I don't care if it's a little bit bigger, but a lot bigger. Yeah, not so much. Let me just turn this around and really play with that side. And hearts to me are more interesting if they're not perfectly shaped like Hallmark cards. You might want a little bit pointier on one side, a little rounder on the other side, just for some interest. That looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to flip it over. That side's gorgeous too. Hmm. Which side do we like better? Kind of like that side. All right, well, I need a little bit more thread there. That's easier said than done. Here we go. That's, that's fun. All right, I'm going to flip it over, fall in love with the other side all over again. Got to pick a side. Yeah, we're just going with it. And then you're just going to drizzle some Mod Podge on it. Doesn't need a whole lot. Just needs enough to kind of hold it together. And you don't have to mush it down or anything like that. This is perfect just like this. So you're going to set this aside and let this dry. All right, while that's drying, let's go back to our substrate, watercolor substrate with just a little bit of uh, ephemera on it. And I'm gonna go in with my Distress Ink. And just go around the edges. Wherever there's Mod Podge, it will move around quite nicely for you. Where there's not, see the difference? Where there's not Mod Podge, it will stick a little bit darker. But I like that grungy look, so we are going for it. So here's our background piece. 
And here is our heart where the Mod Podge is still drying, okay? A little bit on the front, that's okay, because it dries clear. So I'm going to let that continue to dry. <clears throat> and let's go on to something else that's fun, shall we? We are going to bring a straw in and some copper wire and some needle nose pliers. And these are scraps too that I got from the fabric projects that we were doing. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my straw with a little bit of Mod Podge on the straw and I'm going to grab a piece of fabric and I'm just going to wind it up. Now what I like to do is give it a twist so that I can really get some frayed edges on there. Ooh, look at that. Let me move that wire out of there. <clears throat> and you can make these, they're beads. So you can make them as long as you'd like. I'm going to add some more Mod Podge here, just so we're keeping it together. Don't want to do this right after you get your manicure done, I can tell you that for sure. So there's an end piece there. I'm just going to add some Mod Podge. Grab another fun color of another frayed piece. And just keep building up your bead for however big you want it. Is this not the most fun ever? And I have this little bit of red ribbon. Why not? Constantly adding more Mod Podge to get it to stick, which it will. There's a fun blue. Let me snip that. And you just keep adding and adding and adding until you get the size bead that you want. <clears throat> I'm going to bring this color back in because that was really fun. So when I get this the way that I want it, the size that I want, now I'm going to put some Mod Podge pretty generously on that bead. Put the string on there and wrap the string. You 
You know me in layers. Doesn't matter whether it's string or paper or paint. I'm going for it. Now I had some. Here we go. How about some embroidery floss? Why not, huh? Oh. Oh, good. That isn't a very big piece. All right. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to show you what's next. Now just for grins and giggles, I just grabbed a bunch of the frayed fabric and just kind of smushed it into the heart shape. I'm going to take it to the machine and see if there's any way that I can sew it if it's not glued. So hang on to your shirts. We're going to go have an experiment. Hold the presses everyone. So I took these skinny scraps and I just shaped them into a heart. I didn't glue them or anything. I just shaped them into the heart. Took it over to my sewing machine and with a straight stitch just went back and forth. What I'm doing now is I'm getting the heart to fit on a substrate because I have another substrate the same size that we're working on here with this ephemera on it. So I want the heart to fit on that. And I'm just making some more fun edges. Look at that. So I will sew this on top of a substrate like that. Oh my goodness. So much fun. So this I'm going to go and sew onto this substrate. This I will sew onto a substrate, and this is drying. Oh, it's nearly dry. It's nearly dry. So we have several projects going on. Okay, let's look at these couple of hearts that turned out so great. So this is the fabric one that I just sewed and sewed and sewed. It could go on either side. And this is called a frayed heart and that is spelled F-R-A-Y-E-D, Afraid Heart, either side, and that will be framed. And here's one, this is called Don't String Me Along, don't you think? Don't String Me Along. The first one I made was called A Hot Mess, which I love the name of that. I think it's sold. So, uh, Here's the back side, so you can see that I just sew and sew and sew until I get the shape that I want and pieces down where I want. I leave all the sewing strings on there though. The more strings, the merrier. So I will go around the edge here with a little bit more of the Distress ink because it could use some more. And then this is going to go in a frame. And this is part of the heart show at uh, Gallery Renee Marie that uh, is going to be hung this weekend in Benicia, California. Should we put some words on here? Maybe we shall. Let me look at the words and see. We're going to grab this. Let me show you the frame. So this is the frame that this is going to go in. Magnificent. So maybe a word, maybe not a word. We shall see. Live with that piece for a moment. All right, let's go back to our bead, our amazing boho bead, bohemian bead. Perfect. So we are going to cut those straw pieces off. So Rosanna sent me some of these beads. They're much nicer than mine. I have them on my book, wherever that is. 
um, but I was shocked to see that that is an instant bead with an instant um, way to thread through. Isn't that incredible? How about that? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bend this into some kind of a loop. I am not, <laughs> this is not my forte. But that's all right. And this will go down in through here. And then I'm just going to organically wrap this. You would, if you had beads, which I do not, this would be a fun place to put the beads. I'm not a bead girl. Right now I wish I was a bead girl so that I could have some of these on here. And I'm just going to tuck this back down in here. Those people that are really bead makers are like, oh my god, what is she doing? But look. We need that. Now, if you guys are jewelry makers or bead makers, then you can do this in a much more gracious fa fashion. And then this would be something that I would put on my altered book. So we have played with a bohemian bead You've watched me trip along that. There we go. And that would go on my book. I think that's pretty amazing. From a straw and some strings. Yeah. Go for it. There's no mistakes. The more organic, the better. So we made a bead. We made a hot mess, and we made a frayed heart. I don't know which side I'll use on that yet. But look what you made today. Oh my goodness. You guys are awesome. Yes, you are. All right, go create. Go play. Go have fun. We'll see you on the next round.